Winter season is finally here. The outdoor temperature during the night has dropped to single digits, so it is the perfect time to do a power consumption test on this hot and cold inverter air conditioner running in heat mode. By the way, these are also known as heat pumps. Okay, so I've got my meter plugged in so that we can measure the power consumption and the number of units our air conditioner is going to consume in heat mode. And right now, the temperature inside the room is at about 17 degrees Celsius. And I've set the air conditioner to heat the room up to 22 degrees Celsius. Why? Because I feel that 22 degrees Celsius is the sweet spot during winters. It's neither too cold nor hot and also gives you a good balance between power consumption and comfort. Also, the temperature outside at the time of filming this video is 6.9 degrees Celsius. It's about 1 a.m. at night, so it's going to drop even further as the night progresses. Anyways, we're going to do a couple of tests. First off, we're going to see how many watts does this air conditioner uses while it is heating the room up. We will also measure the temperature of the air coming out of the air conditioner and also see how many minutes does it actually take to make the room nice and comfortable. This should also give us an idea of how the air conditioner performs in heat mode. Then after the room has warmed up, we're gonna see how much power does this heat pump slash air conditioner uses to maintain the room temperature. I mean, it is an inverter air conditioner after all, so the working principle is exactly the same like it is in cooling mode. The compressor will slow down once the room has warmed up to the set temperature. And finally, we will see how many units do we end up consuming after 24 hours. Alright, so while the heat pump is heating the room up, let's talk about some important things that you guys should know about. Number one, the size of the room. So this room is about 160 square feet. It's kind of a medium sized room and power consumption does depend on the size of the room because the bigger the room, the more power your air conditioner slash heat pump will use to cool or to heat the room up. Number two, on that side, there is a window and a door that leads to the balcony. And on the other side, there are two more doors. One leads to the bathroom and the other one to the living room. By the way, our living room does not have any heater. So that's kind of important because on the other side of that door, it is cold. So we've got a total of three doors and one window. And finally, number three, the heat load. So at this point, I'm the only one who sleeps in this room and there is my video editing PC which runs throughout the day and at night, I usually turn it off. And all of the bulky woolen clothing has come off because the room temperature is now 21.8. So yes, it feels nice and comfortable inside the room. Anyways, all of these factors along with the temperature outside have an effect on the total power consumption of an air conditioner regardless of the tonnage or if it's running in heating or cooling mode. And speaking of the air conditioner, the one that I'm using in this video is an LG Dual Inverter LS H24 VNXD1. And if you want to watch the review of this particular air conditioner, the link is in the video's description. And this is a 2-ton unit which is kind of oversized for this room. But you gotta understand that tonnage does not matter when it comes to inverter air conditioners. You can easily go with a larger air conditioner even for a small room. You see, inverter air conditioners are basically variable tonnage air conditioners. So that means they will adjust the amount of cooling or heat needed depending on the factors like the weather outside and the temperature you set on the indoor unit. So this 2-ton unit can also run as a 1.5 ton, 1 ton and go as low as 0.75 tons. In fact, right now it is running as a 0.75 ton unit. The power consumption is now down to 630 watts. This is because the room has warmed up to the temperature that we have set on the air conditioner. And it took about 18 minutes to warm the room up from about 16 to 22 degrees Celsius. And let me tell you, this thing blows proper hot air. The temperature of the air coming out of the vent is at about 44 degrees Celsius. This is at 650 watts. Now, the maximum power consumption I have recorded in heat mode was 1.5 kilowatts. This was when I was recording the intro and the room was at about 15 degrees Celsius. So it was quickly trying to heat the room up. Now this air conditioner slash heat pump is actually rated to pull about 2.1 kilowatts in heat mode. 
but I guess that will happen when the outside temperature is even lower than 6 degrees because these inverter units have temperature sensors on the outdoor unit and they're just the power needed to cool or to heat the room up depending on the temperature outside. So 6 degrees Celsius is just not cold enough for it to run at maximum power in heat mode. I mean these things are designed to heat even when it's sub-zero outside. So 6 degrees Celsius is nothing for this heat pump. And the temperature of the air when it's running at 1.5 kilowatts is at about 53 degrees Celsius. So nice toasty hot air coming out even though the room temperature is at about 15. You know what? I am impressed. Alright, so it's been more than one hour since the air conditioner has been running in heat mode and I have made some observations. If you turn on the ceiling fan, that helps spread the warm air that collects near the ceiling. You see, what happens is warm air rises up. So all of the warm air will collect near the ceiling. But if you turn on the ceiling fan, that will help circulate all of the warm air that collects near the ceiling. It is also advisable to get a ceiling fan that runs in reverse. Unfortunately, this one does not. But as always, this is a personal choice. I prefer the ceiling fan to be turned on when the air conditioner is running in heat mode during winters. And coming to the minimum power consumption, Right now, it is pulling about 670 watts to maintain 22 degrees inside the room. But what I've noticed is that the power consumption goes back and forth between 400 and 700 watts. Here is a clip that I captured while it was consuming around 430 watts. So it constantly keeps on adjusting the amount of energy needed to maintain the room temperature, just like it does in cooling mode. Also, I've got this thermometer sitting on the other side of the room and notice how the temperature and the humidity is exactly the same on this side of the room as well as near the air conditioner. So it is 22.2 degrees Celsius on both the thermometers. So that shows you that the temperature is even throughout the room. Most likely it is due to the ceiling fan circulating the warm air. Little bit of difference between the humidity levels but that is in the margin of error. So it's now 3 a.m. at night, it is time to sleep. So what I'm gonna do is put the air conditioner on sleep mode for about six hours, gonna wake up at about nine. So yeah, six hours on sleep mode should be okay. There we go. By the way, the temperature outside has dropped a little, so it's now 5.9 degrees Celsius. I think they've predicted the temperature to drop to about four degrees. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty chilly in the morning. So yeah, we'll let this thing run and I'll wake up in the morning and I will show you how much energy do we end up consuming during the night. Alright everybody, it's now morning as you can see. Well, you cannot really see but yeah, it is now morning. So let me show you my nighttime power consumption. So we use the air conditioner for about 8 hours and 21 minutes. That is 6 hours on sleep mode, 2 hours in normal mode and extra 21 minutes because I switched it back on while I was taking a bath. Anyways, so total of 8 hours and 21 minutes of usage and we ended up consuming only 4.1 kilowatt hours. So that puts the average power consumption of about 500 watts throughout the night. That is a very very impressive number. So that just shows you how power efficient these inverter heat pumps really are. Also just a little side note, when you run these LG heat pumps in sleep mode, the temperature will drop about 2 degrees in about an hour. So if you are running the air conditioner at 22, it will become 20 degrees after about an hour. So I compensated for this and kept the temperature at 22 degrees Celsius throughout the night so that we can get a more consistent result. One more thing that I want to point out is that these are all non-insulated concrete walls. So they do get pretty cold. So check this out. Even though the air conditioner has been running in heat mode throughout the night with the temperature set at 22, the walls are still cold. So the thing is, if you have proper insulated walls, you're gonna see power consumption that is even lower than this. So it is about 2 p.m. in the afternoon and I wanna show you guys something. Check out the power consumption. It is only 450 watts. Now, you might be able to see that the room is at 20 degrees Celsius and I've set the air conditioner to 22, so it is still bringing the room temperature up to 22 degrees Celsius. But why isn't the power consumption more than 450 watts? Well, good question. 
it seems like on these inverter units the power consumption also depends on the temperature outside because right now the temperature outside is 15 degrees celsius you know what the sun's out and yeah so it is slightly warmer outside so because the outside temperature isn't super low the air conditioner is running at a lower power and this much power is actually more than enough to warm the room up you'll see that in a couple of minutes the room will actually warm up to 22 degrees celsius even though this thing is running at a lower power level also check this out even though it's running at 450 watts the temperature of the air coming out is 43 degrees celsius so check this out 22 degrees celsius only consuming 460 watts and right now the outside temperature is 14.9 degrees celsius so the thing is even at such low power levels this thing is still able to put out nice and warm air and couple of minutes later we are now up to temperature so the room is now at 22.2 degrees celsius that's the temperature we had set on the air conditioner and this is only while it was consuming 470 watts so that power consumption should drop even further now that the room is now nice and warm but yeah it is crazy to see how energy efficient these things really are anyways guys i gotta go out now so i'm gonna switch it off and i'll be back at night and show you guys my total power consumption and how many hours i've used the air conditioner out of 24 hours all right everybody as you can see it's been exactly 24 hours since we started measuring the power consumption of this air conditioner running in heat mode so finally let's check how many units of electricity we have ended up consuming in 24 hours so in 24 hours we ran the air conditioner for 13 hours and 12 minutes 8 hours during the night and 5 hours during the day and evening and we have ended up consuming a total of 5.6 kilowatt hours holy crap that power consumption is almost negligible so if we round this number up we have consumed about 6 kilowatt hours in about 13 hours and right now it is consuming 573 watts to maintain 22 degrees celsius inside the room so that shows you how energy efficient these inverter heat pumps really are as long as the temperature is above 5 degrees celsius these things will consume next to nothing to keep the room warm. Take a look, the power consumption has dropped down to 350 watts. Crazy. Now it won't be able to maintain 22 degrees Celsius at this power level. You can see the temperature has dropped a little bit. But yeah, that's just to show you the operating range. Anyways, if you want to find out the running cost, then multiply this number, 5.7 or let's take it as 6 kilowatt hours with the rate of electricity per kilowatt hour that your power company charges you for and that will give you the running cost for this air conditioner you can see the power consumption is back up to 500 watts just because the room temperature is now dropping but the thing is power consumption depends on a lot of factors so depending on the dimensions of your room the weather outside the air conditioner that you're using and the temperature that you set you may get lower or higher power consumption than this so yeah, power consumption is quite subjective. And no, a heat pump does not burn any oxygen, nor it depletes the humidity levels inside the room. Take a look. The humidity levels are at 62%. Very, very comfortable. My skin is not itchy, nor it's dry. So there is a common misconception that these things burn oxygen and they deplete the humidity levels. No, they do not. There is no fuel being burned inside this thing. But the best part is that the power consumption is super low, especially if you are comparing a heat pump with an electric heater. So I've also got this electric oil heater which I used before I got the heat pump installed. And from my rough calculations, this thing uses around 2.5 times more energy than the heat pump does in similar sort of a weather to maintain around 22 degrees Celsius inside the room. Maybe even more than 2.5 times. It's been a while since I've done a power consumption test on this. But yeah, bottom line is, this thing is not efficient at all. Now, I would love to do a comparison and see how much extra energy the oil heater uses compared to our heat pump. But the problem is, the weather does not cooperate. Today, the outside temperature is 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius. So it is a little bit warm outside. Yesterday, it was 6.9. 
so the comparison will be unfair and not accurate at all. Bottom line is, heat pumps or hot and cold air conditioners are a lot more efficient compared to these electric heaters. Well, unless you live in a country where the outside temperature drops well below minus 5 degrees Celsius. That's when heat pumps start to lose their efficiency. Then it is a good idea to have backup electric heater available. But if you live in a country where winters are mild, it makes absolutely no sense to buy an electric heater when you can buy an air conditioner which does both cool your room during summers and heat during winters and it will do this efficiently. Trust me, a heat pump will save you a lot of energy when it comes to heating your room during winters. And depending on the rate of electricity your power company charges you, you are gonna recover the extra cost of buying a heat pump over a cooling only unit in no time. So yes, if you are looking for a new air conditioner, get yourself a hot and cold air conditioner or a heat pump. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video clears out most of your doubts. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys in the next video.